Bihu is the chief festival in the Assam state of India. It refers to a set of three different festivals, Ringali or Boig Bihu observed in April, Kongali or Kati Bihu observed in October, and Bogali or Ma Bihu observed in January. The Ringali Bihu is the most important of the three, celebrating the Assamese New Year and the Spring Festival. The Bogali Bihu or the Ma Bihu is the one that is all about food. The Kongali Bihu or the Kati Bihu is the somber, thrifty one reflecting a season of short supplies and is an animistic festival. The Ringali Bihu coincides according to the Hindu calendar with the Indian New Year festivals like Baisakhi, Bishu, etc., as well as with other regions of East and Southeast Asia which follow the Buddhist calendar. The other two Bihu festivals every year are unique to Assamese people. Like some other Indian festivals, Bihu is associated with agriculture, and rice in particular. Boag Bihu is a sowing festival, Kati Bihu is associated with crop protection and worship of plants and crops and is an animistic form of the festival, while Bogali Bihu is a harvest festival. Assamese celebrate the Rangali Bihu with feasts, music and dancing. Some hang brass, copper or silver pots on poles in front of their house, while children wear flower garlands then greet the new year as they pass through the rural streets. The three Bihu are Assamese festivals with reverence for Krishna, cattle Guru Bihu, elders in family, fertility and mother goddess, but the celebrations and rituals reflect influences from Aborigine, Southeast Asia and Sino-Tibetan cultures. In contemporary times, the Bihus are celebrated by all Assamese people irrespective of religion, caste or creed. It is also celebrated overseas by the Assamese diaspora community living worldwide. The term Bihu is also used to imply Bihu dance otherwise called Bihu Nase and Bihu folk songs also called Bihu Geet. History According to Hakacham, the first form of modern Bihu dance was developed in a temple now known as Hari Dewaloi which is located in Achutia village. Later, in the 19th century, this form of Bihu dance was adopted by the other communities as well and started being performed in Margali Sapori, Dakuakana by Chushas, Taihom, Sonoals, Deeris, Mishing, etc. The three Bihu festivals Boag Bihu Boag Bihu Bahaga Bihu mid-April, also called Ringali Bihu, the most popular Bihu celebrates the onset of the Assamese New Year around 14 to 15 April and the coming of spring. This marks the first day of the Hindu solar calendar and is also observed in Bengal, Manipur, Mithila, Nepal, Orissa, Punjab, Kerala and Tamil Nadu though called by different names. It's a time of merriment and feasting and continues, in general, for seven days. The farmers prepare the fields for cultivation of paddy and there is a feeling of joy around. The women make pitha, laris traditional food made of rice, coconut various drinks by local tribes such as chaya by deeris, chushas, nam lao by thai ahom, arpong by missing tribe and jolpan which gives the real essence of the season. The first day of the bihu is called guru bihu or cow bihu, where the cows are washed and worshipped, which falls on the last day of the previous year, usually on 14 April. This is followed by Mana human Bihu on the 15th of April, the New Year Day. This is the day of getting cleaned up, wearing new cloths and celebrating and getting ready for the new year with fresh vigor. The third day is Gozai God's Bihu, statues of gods, worshipped in all households are cleaned and worshipped asking for a smooth new year. The folk songs associated with the Boag Bihu are called Bihujits or Bihu songs. The form of celebration and rites vary among different demographic groups. Ringali Bihu is also a fertility festival, where the Bihu dance with its sensuous movements using the hips, arms, etc., by the young women call out to celebrate their fertility. The Seven Days Boag Bihu or Ringali Bihu festival continues for seven days and called as Xaat Bihu. 
The seven days are known as Cho Bihu, Goru Bihu, Mana Bihu, Kutum Bihu, Senehi Bihu, Mela Bihu and Chera Bihu. Kati Bihu Kongali Bihu mid -October, also called Kati Bihu has a different flavor as there is less merriment and the atmosphere has a sense of constraining and solemnity. During this time of the year, the paddy in the fields are in the growing stage and the granaries of the farmers are almost empty. On this day, earthen lamps sake are lit at the foot of the household tulsi plant, the granary, the garden barry, and the paddy fields. To protect the maturing paddy, cultivators whirl a piece of bamboo and recite roa koa chants and spells to ward off pests and the evil eye. During the evening, cattle are fed specially made rice items called pitha. The Bodo people light lamps at the foot of the siju Euphorbia nerifolia tree. This bihu is also associated with the lighting of akashi gonga or akexbonti, lamps at the tip of a tall bamboo pole, to show the souls of the dead the way to heaven, a practice that is common to many communities in India, as well as Asia and Europe. <laughs> Bogali bihu Bogali Bihu mid -January, also called Ma Bihu comes from the word Bhog that is eating and enjoyment. It is a harvest festival and marks the end of harvesting season. Since the granaries are full, there is a lot of feasting and eating during this period. On the eve of the day called Uruka, i.e., the last day of Pausa, menfolk, more particularly young men go to the field, preferably near a river, build a makeshift cottage called Bilaha with the hay of the harvest fields and the bonfire or meji, the most important thing for the night. During the night, they prepare food and there is community feasting everywhere. There is also the exchange of sweets and greetings at this time. The entire night called Uruka is spent around a meji with people singing bihu songs, beating dhol, a typical kind of drums or playing games. Boys roam about in the dark stealing firewood and vegetables for fun. The next morning they take a bath and burn the main meji. People gather around the meji and throw pithas rice cakes and beetle nuts to it while burning it at the same time. They offer their prayers to the god of fire and mark the end of the harvesting year. Thereafter they come back home carrying pieces of half-burnt firewood for being thrown among fruit trees for favorable results. All the trees in the compound are tied to bamboo strips or paddy stems. Different types of sports like buffalo fight, egg fight, cock fight, nightingale fight etc. are held throughout the day. There are other conventional festivals observed by various ethnic cultural groups. Mi Dam Mi Phi, Ali I Ligang, Porag, Gaja, Hapsa Hatanai, Kerai are few among them. The Kosh celebrates this Bihu as Pushna. Instruments used in Bihu Dhol drum, Tal Pepper an instrument made of buffalo horn Toka Banhi flute Zutuli Gogona Topic Bihu elsewhere Bihu is also seen to be celebrated abroad Many Bihu associations committees exist elsewhere where this festival is celebrated with enthusiasm The London Bihu Committee LBC UK is one of them among others Topic: Related festivals. The Boag Bihu, Ringali Bihu, festive day is celebrated elsewhere, but called by other name. Some examples of related festivals in Asia include Vaisakhi in Punjab, India; Vishu in Kerala, India; Poila Bashak in West Bengal, India; Puthandi in Tamil Nadu, India. Bikram Samwat, Vaishik Ek in Nepal, Cambodian New Year in Cambodia, Thingyan in Burma, Songkran Festival in Thailand, and other festivals of East Asia and Southeast Asia, Sinhalese New Year in Sri Lanka. However, this is not the universal New Year for all Hindus. 
For some, such as those in and near Gujarat, the New Year festivities coincide with the five-day Diwali festival. For others, the New Year falls on Ugadi and Gudi Padwa, which falls about two weeks before Boag Bihu, thus, Boag Bihu is the New Year festival of the indigenous Assamese people. <laughs> <laughs> Southeast Asia The same day every year is also the new year for many Buddhist communities in parts of East Asia and Southeast Asia such as Myanmar, Sri Lanka, Cambodia, Yunnan in China, Vietnam and Thailand likely an influence of their shared culture in the first millennium CE according to Jean Michaud and other scholars the new year celebration traditions in Southeast Asian massif have two roots one is China and this influence is found for example in Vietnam and southeastern China these Sino-influenced communities celebrate the New Year in the first or second lunar month after the winter solstice in December. The second group of people in the Massif celebrate the New Year in mid-April, much like most of India. This group consists of northeastern Indians, northeastern Myanmar, Thai speakers of Thailand, Lao, northern Vietnam and southern Yunnan. The festival celebrated in Burma, Thailand, Laos, Vietnam, Yunnan in China is celebrated in the Massif in ways like Bihu celebrated by indigenous people of Assam and other Northeast Indian states. It is marked by an occasion to visit family and friends, splashing others with water, drinking alcohol, as well as later wearing jewelry, new clothes and socializing. The New Year festival is called regionally by different names Thingyan in Burma Songkran in Thailand, Chol Shnam the Me in Cambodia, Songkran, Pai Mai Lao in Lao. Topic. See also. Bihu songs of Assam. Topic. Notes and references. Topic. External links Bihu Festival Bihu Photos Bihu Hussori Anvisha.co. In a bilingual website on Assamese traditional musical instruments